Well, about five months ago, our area received Afghan evacuees. Resources and donations have been given to encourage a smooth transition. Today, News Channel 2's Sayara Williams caught up with a former translator who says he's trying to support his family overseas as well. There is a lot of Afghan down here, a lot of Afghan down here. They just need to put their hand, uh, put their leg in the door. Thousands of people fled Afghanistan to seek refuge away from the Taliban. Of those thousands were Ahmad Shakib Stanikzai and his family. Shakib spent 10 years in Afghanistan as a translator and interpreter for U.S. Marines. Shakib, his family, and hundreds of more of Afghan refugees have settled here in Utica, but are having a hard time finding and applying to a job that pays enough to support themselves and family who are still in Afghanistan. But the main problem is this, like, there's a lot of people that they don't know how to use the website, how to go to the, uh, to the site and open the link and apply for them. Shakib and his two brothers currently work at Precision Clinical Laboratories. Although it does pay, Fawad, Shakib's brother, says he would like to work in computer science. Uh, nowadays, I like I searching in the sites, Google sites, some site for a job, new work job, and some other site that uh, I will be, I will be find a good job in IT section. Resources are available. Shakib says it's just a matter of teaching the refugees how to use the internet, understanding how to take transportation, and documents needed to apply for a job. The center in Utica currently provides these services and have also helped them get jobs. So from our community, uh, Utica community, uh, become aware of their presence here and lucky to have them here. They are so hardworking people. A helping hand is always needed. Media director Paul Buckley says he's been assisting the brothers and tries to help them out as much as possible in finding jobs so they can provide for their families. The problem with these gentlemen is they're so they're overqualified for most jobs that are available here in the, in the Mohawk Valley. So. They'll have to start in at the entry level and work their way up, but they got to take what they can get, you know, and, and, and they're aware of that and they accept that. So it's really, uh, it's really, di it's difficult. And because Shakib has worked side by side with U.S. Marines and many Afghans have lived through hardships, Shakib says it's all about learning and taking chances. We can do everything, like just we need a training. We here, we can do everything, just the things we need some training. In Utica, Sayer Williams, News Channel 2.